Okay, the book we have today is Wooden on Leadership, and it's John Wooden's Keys to Being a Great Leader. Um, as many of you may know, John Wooden was the most successful basketball coach of all time, uh, multiple, multiple championships, multiple successful players, um, pretty much guard the respect of everyone who ever met him, um, probably one of the greatest leaders of the last hundred years. So we are fortunate enough that he was willing to share some of his ideas in this book, which he uh, wrote with Steve Jameson, Wooden on Leadership. So check it out if you want more information on it. Um, what are some things he talks about? He said, you know, success, don't focus on results. Focus on doing your very, very best every day, and the results will figure out, will take care of themselves. He said, focus on the process and doing that process to the best of your ability. So don't focus on, for basketball analogy here, don't focus on just taking um, whether the jump shot goes in or not, but did you get yourself set up right? Did you have your feet right? Did you have your fundamentals right? Um, were you in the right position on the court? All those type of things. So folk, whatever you're doing, focus on the process of doing it your very best. Um, he always said, and he learned this from his dad, that whining and complaining um, and comparing is a waste of time, a waste of energy, and nothing positive can happen out of that, so don't do that. Um, he also was always very, very calm. Um, he talks about how emotionalism lives, leads to inconsistency. You've probably seen that. At times when you are very emotional, at least I can see that, um, at times when I'm very emotional, I don't perform to the peak of my ability for a sustained period of time. You may for a while, you can't sustain it. It gives you that kind of roller coaster ride of emotion and your performance does the same thing. So he always stayed calm, but he always had an intensity about him. He talks about having steady, calm intensity. That doesn't mean that he's not emotional. It doesn't mean he's relaxed or laid back or he let his guys goof off and things like that. He attacked each practice, each game, each plan for each practice and each game with a level of intensity and focus that rubbed, up, rubbed off on his players. Uh, team, team, team. He, team first type of person. Uh, his team shared the ball. They passed the ball. They played defense together. They played offense together. He said the team is what it takes. And being a t good team means everyone does their job and does their job to the best of their ability. Um, success is a collection of doing many little things correctly. So he's talking about, you know, do each little thing correctly and it adds up to success. Um, he was very into planning. He planned every moment of every practice. He planned his half times uh, to the point where uh, he gave his players oranges at halftime. Um, he taught his players how, how to stand and where he wanted to stand during the national anthem. His first lesson for his teammates here was how to put your socks on properly to avoid blisters. So he planned everything. Total preparation. He didn't believe in winging anything. So he's saying a leader needs to be totally prepared. Uh, wasted time. He said so much time is wasted. That's why he planned every minute out. He made sure that his players were performing and doing something worthwhile every minute, every practice. He didn't have these four, five, six hour practices. He had two hour practices and they were planned to perfection. Um, you have to work with people. He liked to give people uh, more suggestions than rules. You know, he would suggest firmly that you need to do this. Now, if you didn't do things his way, um, as uh, Bill Walton used to always talk about some of the things that he would do, and, and John Wooden would uh, suggest that he do things a little bit differently or carry himself a little differently, and uh, Mr. Walton would say, oh, I'm not going to do that, and he said, that's fine, uh, do whatever you want, but I'm the one that's going to decide who plays or not. So he'd have these firm suggestions, but he didn't get in these power struggles with the people below him. Um, but, but above all else, John Wooden preached the team, the team, the team. Collective pulling together over individual success. And when that happens, everyone succeeds more. And I think that's the number one lesson of the, of the book. And a phenomenal lesson for our time as we can uh, look to pull together in our families, in our workplaces, on our teams or sports, if you're an athlete or part of an, you know, a band or something like that. Um, pulling together is where you get maximum achievement. So John Wooden, great leader. I highly recommend the book, um, and you get a lot more information I'm able to give you here. Thanks.